From 2007 to 2016, 17, Reebok era, what is the one thing that you feel is too short-lived that's not Jersey-related? My belief that my college degree was going to get me where I needed to go. Oh, wow. This 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 got heavy. Or, I was, or that I my was... student loans would be worth it, as they told me they would be. Oh, I was going to say Windows Phone, but we should probably just go into it now. This, this got awkward. <sighs> Real quick, 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 quick. Welcome back, sports fans. Another episode of Ugly Thirds. Today's topic is two short lived jerseys from the Reebok Error Tour. John Shrems, take away. I love how you're not pluralizing that because the cease and desist. <laughs> was very firm on what we can and cannot say eras oh oh mercy hurst now that needs to be oxy back now because ah we're gonna put an oxy back we're gonna do so if you weren't uh, with us in the last video we're gonna do a uh, nine hour oxy bath on uh, live, stream. live stream now that we oh. have as many followers as we can we can live stream <clears throat> it's gonna be great now, interesting how it went from six hours to now it's nine hours well if he's crying and then we're putting yours in there too oh, there's no, two jerseys in the one. oxy bath most innovative ideas of the Reebok era. Well, that's not this episode. That's another episode. This Which is, one are we doing? This is most short-lived. Short-lived jerseys in the Reebok era are are sometimes it's almost it's almost as if they're completely forgotten. Yeah, yeah. If we had a showdown of most forgotten jerseys, I could see all of these popping in there. It's in the archive, like. Go back there. Oh, if we had more episodes of that, which I think is a completely no, valid I've thing with more for, forgotten We're jerseys. We're done. We're done. What do you That's think? Could we do more forgotten jerseys? Jersey. Do, I do, do I do the end cam now? Is that what's One? The more, more forgotten jerseys? <laughs> Put us in the... Two, two patches. So, uh, 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 too short-lived. Yeah, so the jerseys in the Reebok era that popped up and went away. Gone mm. too soon. Numbered, which we've already done. In the Adidas era. Yes. Well, yeah, uh, I did too short-lived versus a gone to. Maybe we maybe, maybe gone to soon. It's the same thing. You can I would love for number it. three to be almost the Johnny's Jersey story, if the if the lore of it were true. We'd have to do some digging. It and and there isn't much more than internet rumor. But if we find that rabbit hole and go down it and and you know put on our tin hats and do it, um, I think it'd be a lot of fun. It's the Jet Blue third jersey. Now, I didn't know it had a nickname until you told me. Allegedly, Jet Blue became a sponsor of the team and uh, encouraged the Panthers to adopt a more Jet Blue friendly <laughs> look, which would not be the first time that's allegedly happened because the Pittsburgh Penguins, the Robo Pen, the two stripes are allegedly from Ellen Banks, but good luck finding that Ooh. info. Um, it's one of those stories that they pop up and then. If there was a report that something like 40% of the internet is gone forever, like a server is shut down and whatnot. Really? Yeah. Well, that was you... a shocking number, like, and it was way higher than the experts thought it was going to be. Given like, all the data centers around here, well, you wouldn't think that would be a possible thing. And but... you, and it was, oh, yeah, the internet, what, you put it on the internet, it's there forever, and it's like, apparently not. So. Case in point. Now, we put this in our Panthers' worst. I think part of it is the lack of, of whiskers. Like... <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, Phil, because people don't believe this. Let's jersey cam. If you change that cat, does this change the, the dynamic? I think, honestly, you just change, you just put in the whiskers. And sure, it's going to, like, bleed off here a bit, but I think that makes it more fun, yeah. honestly. It makes a more organic logo. Yeah. Or you lift it directly from the main logo. Or the, the new cat, they have a new, more stylized cat. Put that on there. But you should also all recognize that. Right? I mean, oh. we've seen that popping up since, haven't we? Reverse retro anyone? This color, reverse retro anyone? Phil, when did they wear these? 2009 to 2012. So, three years, which I think was a league minimum kind of thing? Short run. They weren't great in this time period. No, they were god-awful during um, this time period. If, if Florida, Florida hockey had not become what it is to... Which this still, day. my mind is stuck in this era, so. Yeah, um, their primary look was not great. It was a dark red, it was a dark blue. It, it, it was a dark and stormy night. It was, they were trying to figure themselves out. 
and they went from a great look at Inception to this muddied up mess back to, in my opinion, the best look in the league. Uh, yeah, I, I don't agree with you on that. Good. But like, a lot of people would. I'm... Look, it's it's not a great Panthers jersey. It's no. a great jersey, and it, it's so good. You How you know when your design is objectively good is when you start having the custom jersey manufacturers make a white version of this so teams can have it home and road. Oh. And there is a, a local team, Piedmont Predators, I think it's Piedmont, that either used to use this look, home and road. And then, so, like, it's a solid, solid look. And blue and blue, I mean, blue and blue was such a big trend. Sure. It became trend. But, like, you bring this back with Improve the Cat, Whiskers, um, and you change this to red, win. You're onto something. You change it to gold, You're onto win. Um, this this template, spectacular. Or you could even just, like, with the hot reverse retro and they leaned into blue, just lean into it and be like, no, this is us. We can do this. It's objectively a good look, even if it's not the best Panthers look. Plus, we have to find out if that, that Jet Blue thing is true. Uh, because these true. colors match up fairly well with their logo back then. So, mm. We oh, could have I... done a ton of the one-off games. And it was kind of difficult not to just jump into this Winter Classic jersey came up and went away. Yeah. But there's one that I think it's egregious that it, it went away completely. This is stunningly good. Stunningly good. Phil, when they wear these? It was the 2014 Winter Classic. Yep. The one at the big house against Toronto. Um, and and it, it's a hodgepodge. It's a faux back. Um, this is from the Detroit Cougars era. This logo is, I don't know if it's exactly the 40s logo or it's just meant to be. It's, it's tweaked a little. They never had stripes like this. They never had stripes like this. But it, it sure looks like the Detroit Red Wings, doesn't it? Yep. And then the font harkens back to the 80s that no one likes to talk about when they actually wore stuff like this. You know, it's it's so good. It is. And I argued for reverse retro when everyone's like, well, what should they have done? They don't have any designs. It should have been this. Yeah. This and white. <laughs> done. Well, look, look at uh, what a Carolina throwback. Two years to their, right. uh, <laughs> their 2019 look. Like, I think it would have been fun to throw back to an iteration of this. But the fact that it's felt here, you have a unique alternate and captain's patch on the side mm -hmm. here like everything about this is stunningly good it's, it's just it's really really well done and yeah. for it to have showed up in that game and maybe there were a handful of games that played that season i don't recall no um but it it, it went away yeah it is largely forgotten and i think that's a shame mm-hmm this is my favorite. You, oh, and a great player, too. You you insisted it had to be this. Had to be this, because nope. of this look. Um, 2008 to 2016. Not the shortest run. No. But, but, no, what did you say when you looked I, that I up? Said, I didn't realize they had it for that long, so I don't remember them ever wearing this. It was inconsistently used. Yeah. Um, But you and I have both gone back and forth about how good this look is. Um. For for a roundel, what what do we just look at? Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Put the two roundels next to one another. Um, it's exponentially better. Same concept, but exponentially better than what you've. Whereas had this highlights a part of the logo. This uses the whole logo and adds in a local flair. Yep. The beveling, I think, is not as subtle as Dallas did, but it's good. Um, I think probably just just. Regular yellow and a shiny gold would have been the better way than darkening it. But, I mean, we're taught, we are nitpicking. In fact, Jersey Cam it, because I bet most people are like, what are they talking about? Hmm. Which is how I spend most of my life, if we're being honest. <laughs> like, that beveling around it, just like, oh, look how how 3D. Like, it's, the the beveling in the arch is spectacular. I like that. That, that raised look without it being raised at all, to be honest with you. Like, yeah. It's... it's it's very, very well done. It's it's very it, look, it, and as far as the team, if if you lean into the dark navy blue, which everyone was then, first off, and two, are they wrong to? Um, I don't know. I was going to say was one earlier, so yeah. It, but here, here's my thought to posit: this replaced it as a third jersey, and this was the home. This is the home jersey they went to once fixing the look. Yeah. Does this hang? Do you replace this with with that? In the modern era, I don't think so. 
I think this is more of a timely piece. I think I think this really hit when we were looking for something to hang our hat on about Reebok. Um, and the fact that they did this in on ice, it was a really good look on it ice. It was a really good look on ice. Um, it highlights well. But their their primary home road was not great at this time. No, that's on that is true. This and this was a saving grace. This was a nice a nice compliment to a, a very so so look. It's it, look these three jerseys gone too soon and and you know but for 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 as long as this was around like Phil said like people eight, people will forget about this jersey. absolutely forgotten hundred percent I was trying to think with the reverse retro they did the the red sheet music the ninety the ninety six which everyone one. loves that but they also brought the actual sheet music back as a throwback jersey for three games yeah. so like they really didn't need that reverse retro. They could have done this. They could have brought this back either in white or in the the more standard royal blue, yep. and it would have been a good reverse retro. What about that in red? This one in red? Yeah, yeah. but it wasn't the red era. No, so, but like it's it's a reverse retro is supposed to be thrown back but different. So maybe do this in a gold jersey with red okay. and look that and that navy. that 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 logo was certainly popular. It would, have, it would have been better than the gold one that they came out with in our R2. So I like the concept behind it. Mm. That it's the the one they never used. It was never used. They should yeah. have saved it for Winter Classic since they're always in a Winter Classic now. <laughs> ah yes. You want you want to talk about teams that are in an outdoor games too much? St. Louis is the Pittsburgh. one that flies below the radar. Chicago. Oh, well, we all know Chicago. We're Everyone Pittsburgh knows Pittsburgh Chicago. Pittsburgh Pittsburgh St. Louis Pittsburgh is Pittsburgh now Pittsburgh. like. Okay, guys. I'm going on New Year's Eve this year. Oh, on. yeah, that's right. Yeah, you notice there's no date on the logo for that reason? Because it'd be two 2024 Winter Classics, technically. Oh. Look at you. I'm Look curious you why, it's on, like, why they change it, actually. There has to be a reason. I, I, I bet, honestly, if I had to guess, it would be football. They, they, whatever day of the week it was. During and the week. TV and, and, and college football, bowl game. I bet, there. I guarantee it's something involving money and rating. Likely. So. Which, which the NHL is not going to win. Right. Uh, that argument is, is not going to go in their favor. So, too short-lived. What's your thoughts? And uh, what ones would you put in this What list? else is there? I feel like there's there's a ton. Um, there's another one that I, I would have put. There, there's a Washington one I would have put on this list. I put it somewhere else. Okay. But there's legacies of it, so I feel it's less. <laughs> um, but other than that, I would love to hear what the thoughts yeah, are. Yeah, likewise. So, he's Shrems. I'm John. Phil. Take us out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Ring the bell so you get notifications when we post new videos and come back for another episode of Ugly Thirds. Look how cold we were in St. Louis. Oh, that, that was the coldest that I've ever been in my life. That's before the really cold part. That was part. before the Arctic polar vortex thing. Yeah, we missed that in Chicago. Good. <laughs>